Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a question I often get asked a lot. Can you regain lost fast twitch muscle fibers as you get older? This is especially relevant for those of us who want to stay strong, agile, and full of energy as we age. As we go through this, I'll break down the science and bring in evidence from research that makes it as clear as possible. I want you to know exactly why this topic is so tricky and why some changes in our muscle fibers are, are a natural part of aging. But we'll also look at what we can do to keep our power and strength. So let's get into it, starting with what fast switch muscle fibers are and why they're so important in aging. All right, so before we get into whether you can regain fast switch muscle fibers, let's cover what fast switch muscle fibers actually are and why they matter so much. Fast twitch fibers are the muscle fibers responsible for quick, powerful movements. Think like sprinting, jumping, and heavy lifting. These fibers can produce a lot of force in a short amount of time, which is why they're essential for activities that require speed and strength. Fast twitch fibers are further divided into types, including type 2A, which has some endurance, and type 2X, which is all about explosive power. What makes fast twitch fibers different from slow twitch fibers is that they rely on rapid high intensity nerve signals to activate and they're powered mostly by the anaerobic energy pathways. This is why you can push out a lot of power for a few seconds with fast twitch fibers but they tire out quickly. Studies show that fast twitch fibers are key to maintaining strength, speed and agility as we age but they're also more vulnerable to loss over time. So the question of whether we can regain them becomes really important for staying active as we get older. Now that we know what fast twitch fibers are, let's talk about why we tend to lose them as we age. Okay. As we age, our bodies naturally experience a decline in motor neurons. These are the nerve cells that control muscle fibers. The motor neurons that control fast twitch muscle fibers specifically are more prone to degeneration. When these motor neurons start to die off, the muscle fibers they control can no longer be activated effectively. This leads to a gradual loss of fast switch fibers over time. Another key factor is the decrease in high intensity nerve signals. Our fast switch fibers require strong rapid signals to activate, and these signals slow down and weaken with age. As a result, even if some fast switch fibers remain, they might not fire as quickly or as powerfully as they did when we were younger. Scientific research supports this. Studies on aging show that this loss of motor neurons, particularly those associated with fast twitch fibers, leads to reduced strength and power output in older adults. This is why maintaining the same explosive power from youth becomes difficult with age. Now let's tackle the big question. Is it possible to regain fast twitch fibers once they're lost? Unfortunately, once fast twitch fibers are lost due to aging or inactivity, it's generally not possible to fully regain them. This is because the motor neurons that control these fibers tend to deteriorate with age, and once they're gone, the fast switch fibers they controlled either shrink or adapt to slower endurance focus roles. To date, science hasn't found a way to regenerate these specific motor neurons, so restoring the original explosive power of fast switch fibers remains out of reach. There's a misconception promoted by some influences that slow twitch fibers can be converted into fast twitch fibers. While there is some adaptability in hybrid fibers, these are muscle fibers with characteristics of both type 1 slow twitch and type 2A to X fast twitch, this adaptation is temporary. It allows some slow twitch fibers to behave more like fast twitch fibers under certain conditions, depending on your training but it doesn't fundamentally convert them. This is the mistake that they're not telling you. The fiber remains slow twitch at its core and will revert back once the stimulus changes or decreases. Even with this adaptability I just described, it's important to remember that these adjustments won't reverse the loss of neural firing signals, that's the brain to muscles, and motor units that occur with age. This is why targeted high intensity Training can help you retain the power and agility of fast switch fibers you still have, but it won't fully replace what's lost over time. Even though we may not be able to fully regain lost fast switch muscle fibers, 
Specific types of training can help us keep the ones we still have in top shape. Power training, strength training, and high-intensity interval training hit are particularly effective for this. These workouts push the remaining fast twitch fibers to stay strong and responsive. For example, exercises like sprinting, heavy lifting, or jumping challenge your muscles to produce power quickly, which helps maintain the fast twitch fibers that are still present. Studies show that resistance and power focus exercises can improve muscle function and delay some of the age-related loss of power and speed. I must emphasize that this does not mean you'll fully recover the fast switch power of youth, but it can help you stay stronger, more agile, and more explosive than if you avoid these types of exercises. While you cannot bring back the lost fast switch fibers, the right training can help you make the most of what you got and keep you active and resilient for longer. I want to address some other claims about drugs like rapamycin. Some research suggests that rapamycin might help improve aspects of muscle quality and aging, but here's what we need to understand. No drug or supplement, including rapamycin, can bring back the lost neural signals or high threshold motor units responsible for the explosive power and strength we have in youth. When we age, our motor neurons, the ones that control the fast switch fibers, begin to die. I already mentioned this. And the connections that drive high intensity, quick movements diminish. This loss is not something that current science can reverse. Once high threshold motor units are gone, they cannot be regenerated by any known substance today, whether it's rapamycin, growth factors, steroids, or any other supplement. What this means is that while some drugs might help slow down muscle degeneration or preserve what we have left, they cannot fully restore the original muscle quality we had in our younger years. Real muscle strength, power, and function comes from these specific motor units and neural signals. And once they're lost, there's no getting them back. This is why maintaining strength through exercise is essential as we age, even though science hasn't found a way to truly reverse these changes. One crucial aspect of aging that most longevity research tends to overlook is the loss of fast switch muscle fibers, firing rates, and motor units. While there's a lot of focus on longevity diets, longevity supplements, caloric restriction, and biohacking, these approaches do little to address the irreversible decline in fast switch muscle function. Fast switch fibers and the motor units that control them play a major role in maintaining strength power and stability as we age. As these fibers decline with age, it's not just strength that fades away. This loss contributes to frailty, slower movements, and an increased risk of falls and related health issues. Unfortunately, once these high threshold motor units are lost, no amount of supplements, fasting, or special diet can bring them back. This means that even Someone who has biohacked for longevity may still face severe functional decline in the 80s and 90s if they lost the critical fast switch fibers and neural firing signals that keeps muscles responsive. Despite having healthy biomarkers, they'll still experience the physical frailty and limitations common to old age due to this loss. This is why maintaining fast switch muscle function to appropriate training is essential for true functional longevity. In closing, while modern longevity practices like biohacking, caloric restriction, supplements, intermittent fasting may improve certain health markers, they overlook a critical factor, the irreversible loss of fast switch muscle fibers, the firing rate, neural firing rate, and fast motor units. These elements are essential for maintaining physical resilience and strength and power as we age and their losses contributes significantly to age-related frailty and disease risk. Without fast switch fibers and high threshold motor units that drive explosive movements, no biohacking regimen can fully prevent the physical aging process. Even if someone reaches the 80s or 90s with optimal, perfect blood markers, the loss of these fast switch elements results in the same frailty as any average individual. The body's capacity for fast, powerful movements deteriorates, making the person as vulnerable to falls, reduced mobility, and other health issues 
as those without longevity interventions. This is why I push this on myself. It's, it's extremely important to prioritize exercises that preserve fast twitch muscle fibers alongside any other longevity practice. By doing so, we can maintain health and function as long as possible. This is what is being overlooked in the longevity industry. Anyway, I hope this information may have helped you. I keep repeating it on my channel because it's the most important part of aging. It's the catalyst, the foundation. I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.